This is TNT barbecue with a southern explosive taste. I know it's been it's been a while since I made a video, but <clears throat> this video is worth it, guys. It's been my busy year for his work and barbecuing. I mean, I just thank y'all for y'all support, and I, and I look at everybody's videos. I don't leave comments because I'm watching on my phone. And normally when I start typing my phone, I have a hard time typing on my phone with these big old hands. But uh, I've been watching our videos. I've been paying attention to everybody. Uh, Fritz, um, my boy over there, Meat Stall, Kirby Q, uh, T. Roy Cooks, Daddy Cooks back in town. Uh, everybody, even the new people over there that's got new YouTube channels. I've been checking them out. I watch everybody. Um... But, <clears throat> I want to talk about this guy, uh, Rick, over at the meat stall. Me and him talk a lot, so we've been talking, and um, what happened was, I ran out of uh, a sauce, so he was telling me about this, um, this uh, Carolina sauce, and he made it in a video. I want to do a video on that sauce, due to the fact that I used it um, yesterday at a catering event. And it went over big time. Now I'm out here in Iowa. The Iowa folks was like, what is this? And they was excited. So um, I want to share this with y'all YouTube people. And I'm going to put his um, link up here in the iCard. <laughs> so go check out the meat stall. Subscribe to his channel. Tell him TNT Barbecue sent you. Subscribe to TNT Barbecue. So the next time you be seeing me, I'll be putting this sauce together. So we finna go to the sauce. So we have seven easy ingredients, okay? So I'm finna call the ingredients out. Add two cups of water, two regular tap water, okay? So we are gonna go at um for meat stall Rick directions. Just rub old table salt. Just so add um, two tablespoons of table salt. Okay. And he said go with Texas P. So um, I'm going to go with this quarter cup of Texas P. So, okay. Then I'm going to go with four tablespoons of uh, crushed red pepper. black pepper black pepper right there so I'm going to put black pepper in there and then I'm going to add one whole cup of apple cider vinegar I think I'm going to order a uh, half a cup just to see because I want to make sure that it's not as tart and then I'm adding three cups of brown sugar so, um, packed brown sugar. So what we're going to do is we're going to move all this out of our way. And we can stir. Get it all stirred up, okay? And i tell you what. It, it has like a muddy... Look to it. You can see the red pepper flakes rolling around that thing. And I'm whisking. I want to make sure all the ingredients are incorporated. And what the meat stall, Rick, told me is that it's better if it sits up for a day. So uh, I'm making a small batch right now until I get down to the right consistency of the taste I want. So, uh, I think everything is pretty well incorporated. So, what I do like to do is get a little cup like this. Um, I probably get a little cup. I want to taste it just to see how it tastes. Okay. So,
I think I'm gonna add that, the rest of that vinegar to it. Get one of these little bottles right here. Get the strainer. Pour it in here. Set it off to the side. top on it real tight and shaking okay so if anybody want to zoom out let me tell you about this sauce and I'm gonna go into the description of this sauce okay my what I think is the flavor profiles of this sauce and um, this sauce is kind of like um, I never tasted nothing like it before I got like a similar sauce but mustard and mustard is pre the predominant taste of that sauce I'd normally use but this it's it it, 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 it it coats the meat a lot better I think and this makes pork pop. Slab of ribs, pork butts. You can even use this to mop on some ribs while you cook it. So, um, Rick over at Meat Stall, I appreciate the recipe, bro. Uh, like I said, go check out his, go check out the guy. He's dropping knowledge. Uh, he got he got a Weber Smoky Mountain. He has like three kettle grills, 22 inches. He has a master built smoker. He has a um, stick burner smoker. He also has a direct grill that he cooks on too. Um, he has a lot of knowledge. So go over there and check him out. Meat stall. Tell him TNT sent you over there. But like I said guys, useful, useful barbecue. And as you can see the uh, muddy, is, the muddy kind of look I was talking about. But you can see the peppers. You can see the seasoning, so I'm gonna let this sit up. And I'm just, like I said, this is just something small. I'm gonna make probably two gallons of this. So this, I'm making two gallons of this sauce right here to have on my food truck trailer, so I can um, bring that Carolina taste over here in Iowa. So just remember, guys, like I always say, God bless you, and God bless America. We out of here.